The uh, bodies are covered in ash, uh, and so we're unsure what the state of the bodies will be in, uh, and so that's uh, part of uh, making sure we're just really clear about what we're trying to achieve and how we're going to achieve it on the day. We can never say uh, 100%, um, but I, I would strongly suggest that uh, there is no one uh, that has survived on the island. And, and I base that on the fact that uh, those uh, uh, brave people that went uh, across to the island yesterday and rescued a number of people uh, you know, said that uh, they could not see anyone uh, that was still alive. So we'll uh, look into um, if there's anyone criminally responsible for the, the deaths and injuries. Uh, it's, an er it's early days yet, um, so we're just going to have to uh, work through the evidence, uh, talk to people uh, and conduct the investigation. And there's a lot of people um, on the ship and also on the Facebook, um, Ovation's Facebook page saying why were they allowing such a tour when um, they knew the volcano had been rumbling for the last couple of weeks. It's, I guess shock, it's one of those things when you hear about a disaster you, you don't actually know how to feel, you're just standing there and you're just remembering that you have to breathe while you're hearing this kind of news and just so much goes through your head like what if that was me, what if that was my family or my friends. Like, do I know anyone that's on uh, that had gone on that tour? So it's actually quite emotional having to think about it.